Hey everyone, it's Connor Mitchell, head whiz of Dragon Rider Network. Now, you may have been hearing a lot about 4K video over the last few months or even the last few years. Apple just released a new Apple TV that can support 4K, which is basically nothing more than adding extra resolution to your video. However, you have probably also been hearing a lot about HDR. HDR is the latest technology that doesn't increase your resolution, but actually still makes your image look better. In fact, there are two different standards that are currently out there for HDR called HDR10 and Dolby Vision. Now you're probably saying to yourself, I hope this is in another format war. We just got through the whole thing with Blu-ray versus HD DVD. Well, it's not quite like that. In this video, I'm here to break it down so you can go forward knowing your stuff about HDR in televisions. So without further ado, this is a simplified explanation of HDR10 versus Dolby Vision. Getting right to the basics, HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. In the photography world, HDR would be used to take photos where light areas and dark areas can be equally captured to give you crazy awesome looking photos. However, in this form of HDR, we are not focused on light, but rather color. High dynamic range in this context is what allows us to see a wider range of colors rather than a wider range of light. Here's an example. Have you ever seen a picture of the sky and noticed that as it goes from one shade of blue to another, it gets pixelated? That comes from either a camera or a screen that does not have a good bit depth or color depth. The higher color depth, the more colors you can see, and that allows for a smoother transition of colors. HDR is coming in to greatly extend that color depth past what our current TVs and Blu-ray movies are capable of producing. Now that we have the basics of HDR out of the way, what exactly is the big difference between HDR10 and Dolby Vision? HDR10 is a non-proprietary version of HDR, which means the manufacturers and content creators are able to have access to this technology without licensing. Dolby Vision, on the other hand, has a licensing technology that is owned by Dolby. No surprise. So HDR10 is easier for people to get than Dolby Vision. That solves the debate right there. Well, not quite. HDR10 has a 10-bit color spectrum, which is definitely better than the current 8-bit color spectrum that's in normal TVs. However, Dolby Vision has the ability to push out a 12-bit color spectrum. Now, putting that into numbers that actually will mean something, it all comes down to the amount of colors that can be produced. Standard TVs with an 8-bit color spectrum actually aren't that bad. The total number of tones or colors they can produce is 16.78 million colors. HDR with 10-bit color can produce over 1 billion colors. And Dolby Vision with its 12-bit color spectrum can produce an insane 68 billion colors. So Dolby Vision has more than 68 times the number of colors of HDR10 and more than 4,000 times the number of colors than standard 8-bit televisions. It's a no-brainer. Well, to continue this roller coaster of emotions, there is a problem with Dolby Vision. It doesn't exist yet, technically speaking. Dolby Vision content is designed to operate at a certain brightness that no TVs on the market are currently capable of producing. So, while the format may be able to say it's capable of producing 68 billion colors, ironically, the technology just isn't there yet. It doesn't mean there isn't content. Netflix, Amazon, and now even iTunes have a quite impressive library of shows and movies online that support Dolby Vision. And boxes like Apple TV support both HDR and Dolby Vision. So in the end, what are you supposed to do? To make what has already been way too long of a story short, Dolby Vision is better, but the technology won't catch up for another few years. HDR10 is a wider accepted format that you'll be able to find just about anywhere that supports 4K HDR video. In short, if you only get a TV that only has support for HDR10, it's not the end of the world. You are still getting a way better image than you would have had before with over a billion new colors to view. Dolby Vision will continue to improve and will be included in more and more TVs down the road. More content will be created to support that standard and eventually, the TVs themselves will be able to show the full spectrum of colors that Dolby Vision is capable of supporting. So go out and buy your HDR10 TVs without a care in the world, because in a few years, when true Dolby Vision TVs come out, all those amazing 68 billion colors will be waiting for you. 
and probably 8K. But that's another video for another day.